Hello and welcome to 1S Gaming's walkthrough of LEGO Jurassic World. Uh, just going to give you a basic run through of the game. Not going to waste any time collecting studs. Just going to get on with it and hope for the best. So basically, just going to run you through everything. Um, Apologies if I do get stuck on a couple of bits because I have only played the game once or twice. And I'll keep nice and quiet for all the cutscenes for you. Here we go. Okay, so first of all we take Sorry, charge of Robert Mulder. Until the new generator gets unpacked and built. Famously dislikes the Raptors. It's me, this is DNA. And I'm here to help him. Classic Mr. DNA. Okay, so these bits make some sort of generator. Um, you have to kick start and and use the other fella. Stun rod. Not too sure what the uh, massive fascination with sausages and pigs are in this game. It's uh, seems to be a running theme throughout the whole concept of things. Pick this up. For those little blue lines. I tell you that raptor ain't budging until it gets fixed. Find something to dig up to build. Uh, the rest of the checkered mark with the raptor cage. So, I think we go up here. Use this panel, or do we have to. Sh no, you yeah, push the raptor. No, maybe not. I think it's all to do with these. These lights. Get some light on the subject, eh? One. Number two. I think there's a third one somewhere. Shoot the targets. One target. Another thing to build. That is one angry raptor. And push it to its cage. Well, I'm not too sure how happy he's going to be about it. Cage ladders jam. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Go back up here, put the code in. Good luck. I ain't going to get door open. These are normally quite simple. Just remember a sequence of buttons. Well, make map it myself and forget what buttons have been pressed. How do we go? An electric shop. <laughs> and here we go. Ah! 
think the raptor wants the sausage. Stab it with a broom. That's going to stop it. Shoot her! Shoot her! Geezer's lost his sausage. One way to upset the snake. So here we take control of two of the main characters from the films Dr. Alan Grant and Dr. Ellie Settler. <coughs> Dig up plenty of skeletons. Yes, good Always have to use the female characters for the big jumps. Apparently, the men can't jump all that high. Oh, here we go. This is where I can't get it right. Aha, there we go. Build some ladders. I think it's a ladder. Something like that. Like I say, Dr. Grant can't jump that high. Maybe he needs to lose a bit of weight. In there. Come on. Ooh. I'll be extinct by the time I get this thing out. What, Jackhammer? Oh, now we're talking. I just want to care for let some crazy man loose with a jackhammer. Ah, oh, I didn't hold the button down long enough. That's crazy. There we go. Back to Dr. Sattler. Oh, now we've got to find... Where the other raptor is. One day I forget to bring scissors. Lots of Grant's got his magic little raptor claw. Come on, tie this rope. What is that? A reef knot? Remember, Doctor Sattler and Grant want us to be bins full of bones when digging up this fossil. If I remember right, it is a. You have to build something around here. There we go, that's it. One little road sweeper. I'm guessing that's what that is. Road sweeper. Does the job anyway. Sorry, Dr. Sattler, just ran you over. Uh huh. Do as I say, not as I do. Next time, I'm just bringing a sandblaster. That's uncovered saint to dig up. This should be another raptor skelly. Six inch retractable claw. I could raise it. On the middle, middle top. top. Knocked his magic raptor claw. Dr. Grant! Dr. Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I hate computers. Feelings mutual. One good thing about this game, you get to break stuff. And not get in trouble for it. Another ladder. Made out of spades and brooms. Go 
Hey, let's get out of the way. You give Cut it this a, rope. Be careful, be careful. That, that rope's holding, holding up, up uh, some, some, you know, uh, uh, no, no, what's it called? Uh, no, it's delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding up a bunch of delicate equipment. Be like, tell me now, Mike. Uh, sorry. Never mind. Up we go. I found a perfectly oh. preserved comp song at this side. Really? Chicken legs for lunch, apparently. Oh, what's that all? What that's all about? I figured out what's wrong with it. It should have two wheels, not one, and handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. There we go. That makes perfect sense. Let's cut through this. Miss Deanna, I know what I'm doing. Aha, uh -huh, some handlebars. Go and stick that on here. Now uh, just to find a wheel. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, much safer. safer. Well, really hard and there's a wheel, there's a way. That's it, let's all just build sand castles, huh? That seems like the point of the game. Where is this wheel? Nick it off here, I think. That's great. Now lovely jubbly. Shoot the radar into the ground, the bone bounces the image back. This program is incredible. Two more years, and we won't have to dig anymore. That's the sound of an app. Ready. So we have to jump around on these little square bits. That's it. That thing looks like a six foot and we have a Velociraptor with a guitar. I knew they were clever, but not that clever. <laughs> oh, well that was clever. Dr. Sattler again. And oh, now she's breaking everything. Hey, there we go. over to the uh, caravan and speak to John Hammond who do you think you are <laughs> and himself a cutler <laughs> John, John Hammond Ireland Ireland. 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 kind of biological preserve really spectacular it's spent no expense. Expense. our, our attractions, attractions will drive kids out of their, their minds. minds if I, I could just persuade you to sign on the park, park. I could get, get back, back on Sheffield. What kind of park, park is, is this? It's, it's right, right up your alley. alley. That classic helicopter scene. Will you two uh, <laughs> dig up, dig up dinosaurs? Dinosaur? <laughs> well, uh, try it. <laughs> 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 Crazy Dr. Malcolm. Get used to Dr. Malcolm. He suffers from a diploma of excessive personality. Especially for a mathematician. K-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-T-I-